Okay, so <clears throat> now we're going to go into our, um, we're going to go into our topic. And you may have wondered, you may, our topic is how to use, um, how to use FOMO to boost your online sales. And you might be thinking like, what the heck is FOMO? Now, some of you who are, who are hashtag savvy and you, you may already know what FOMO is, but for those who don't, FOMO is the fear of missing out. So it's a fear of missing, missing out and that, um, if you don't act now, then you know you'll miss out. So that's really what this whole topic is about. It's about FOMO. So with FOMO, you can use this tactic, the fear of missing out, with your limited time offers. So this is like, and, and you've probably seen it yourself when you're shopping. Last call, don't miss out, ends soon, final offer, time is running out. So it, 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 it adds an urgency for customers to take action. And so we're going to try to bank on this FOMO um, emotion, and I'm going to show you how in a couple of tips that um, I've used in the past and that I'm going to also be using for Black Friday. So you can use this FOMO tactic with free shipping, your free gift with purchase, your discount promo codes, and Black Friday. It's basically for any limited time offer. So if you know something's going to be ending at you know in the end of the evening or it's only available for one day or a period of time then this is a perfect time to use that FOMO with your customers to try to get them to jump to take action so tonight as I mentioned we're going to talk about three ways to use FOMO with your Avon offers so number one the FOMO with FOMO is you can use it on your sign-up forms. Now, the last, the last how-to, we talked about how to increase your Avon customer base for online sales. That was our last, um, our last how-to. And we actually talked about how to create a sign-up form with MailChimp. And so some of you may have done it, or maybe you're thinking about doing it. Well, Black Friday is a good time to do it. So this is an example of what I did um, just this week on using the sign-up form. I used a Facebook note, and um, you, if, you don't, if you have a blog, you can also use it on a blog. But I shared the link from my MailChimp, and I put it on my Facebook note, and I shared it in other groups in my local buy and sell groups in um, my community. And so I shared the note, and in the note, I had my sign-up form, and it said, you know, don't miss out on Avon Black Friday's um, Christmas items sell out fast, so get early access, sign up to get notified when Avon Black Friday codes are available. And so this was um, one of my forms that I used. When they click that link, because on, on your Facebook note, you can't make an image uh, clickable to go to another page. So you have to use like text link. So I put sign up to get early access and then when they click it, it takes them to my online form where they can sign up. Now we're already getting close to um, Black Friday. So instead of like making a form that says early notifications, what you could do is make a, a sign up form for customers to start saving today. So you could start promoting your Black Friday sales and instead of giving them letting them know what the code is right away on your post or giving them um, all the information, you could ask them to sign up so that you can send them the information. And then when they click the link and it goes to their form, then when, they, when, you, when it, you get the automatic email that um, MailChimp sends out when someone signs up, you would put your, you would put the coupon offers and then you would put the link to your online store. So that's another way to start growing your list using the MailChimp um, forms that we talked about in our last live. And then with Cyber Monday coming up, you can also have get notified when the Cyber Monday deals are coming up. So those are just a couple of examples of how to use FOMO with um, the MailChimp signup forms and how to grow your list. And then um, you can let, you can 
you can use it on regular free shipping and so forth offers. So that's the first example. And then our second example are our last call emails. We also touched on this in a how-to a couple of months back. I think we, we talked about this in July. And that was how to get more sales out of your Avon free shipping emails. And basically what we talked about was sending out a last call email where you would send your customers the day of or when the offer is going on. You send your list, your customer base, an email and letting them know that the offer is, is going on. And then in the evening, or actually in the afternoon, let's say 3 o'clock, 3 p.m., you send out a second email to those customers who haven't opened the email that you sent in the morning. Now, you may, have, you may be asking, well, how do I know what customers didn't open my email? Well, that's where the um, email the email um, automated email programs come in. They're like with MailChimp, the, the one that we, we, oh, we always, I always talk about, is that you can tell who opened your emails with their stats, with MailChimp, with other um, email services. So that's another way that you can tell. Now, if you don't have MailChimp set up or any other email service, then you can just send that second email anyways. Because what happens is that in the morning, someone, you know, if they're at work and they get their first email, the day goes on, they plan on use, they plan on taking advantage, but the day goes on, it gets busy, they forget. But if you and then your email gets pushed down to the bottom because other emails are coming out during the day. So if you send that second email and then it gets back to the top of their list, let's say at three o'clock, four o'clock, they're gonna open it and it's gonna be a nice reminder to them that the offer is ending. And so you could say, you know, offer is ending soon. If you plan on taking, you know, taking advantage of this offer, you still have until midnight. So they still have plenty of time because most Avon offers don't end until um, until 12, uh, 11.59 p.m. So I did this with our 12 days of, uh, 12 days of deals this past week. I did this all this week. I sent my customers a first email on the free shipping. And apparently everyone loves free shipping because it was free shipping that was on one of the days. I sent out my email and like at three o'clock, I had like maybe I had four sales, which is kind of slow for me. Or I had four online sales. So I sent out that last call email. And by the end of the e evening, I had, um, I think I had seven, I had 18, I had 18 online sales because of that second email. So as you can see, it does work. It, it reminds everyone, it, it triggers that, oh, I need to get on and get my order in. And then I did it with the 20% off coupon, which was also, I believe that was on Thursday. And um, that one, I didn't get as much. I think everyone is likes the free shipping. They didn't want to spend so much maybe. But I got a couple of sales in the morning, and then when I sent that second email, I got a handful of sales in the evening from my online store. So that tactic really does work. Now, of course, if you have a small email list, you know, you may, it, it, your email list has to start growing before you start getting more action. And that's why it's important to start growing your list with sign up forms and so forth. But just you can watch these two how to's for more information on that. Okay, so and then lastly, number three, FOMO, how to take advantage of FOMO is for countdowns and timers. And this is what I started doing this year. <clears throat> I've used it for um, some other things in the past years, but I'm really going to start trying to use this for Black Friday this week. But basically what it is, is that when someone, and you've probably seen this also when you're shopping online and you see the ticker and the timer and it's telling you time is running out. And so you see this ticker and you visually see it. So you're like, oh, you know what? I better act on this because I don't want to miss out. You know, I can't, I want to save that 20% or I want to get that free shipping on $20. So that timer kind of adds to, it adds a visual layer to the emotion of someone not missing out. So 
here's an example for Black Friday sales countdowns. And, and you probably have seen this. Sometimes it can just be an image, just a visual image, but sometimes the tickers will actually be moving. And so here is an example of what I do for um, my recruiting page. So right now for my recruiting page, I put up a holiday, um, sign up Avon for the holidays, and I go through all the benefits of why you should sign up. And then I say, don't let the season pass you by. Start the new year, new year off right with less bills. And then I have the countdown because I, it, it's scheduled to um, go off um, December 25th. So that's my deadline. So I want people to that urgency. You know, get on now because the year, year is ending and so forth. So this is something that I've been using lately. Um, just for that visual urgency to get people to want to sign up as an Avon rep. And then um, I also have a bonus because you're in our online Beauty Bosses group for all our members. I decided to make a, a Giphy, which is the animation, so that you can you guys can try to use it on your, um, your post this week. So I made a general one, a general year-round timer, and you guys, it'll be free to download, and I'll show you how to download it so you can use it. But for this one, let me get that queued up here. For this one, it just shows the clock. And the other ones that you see, sometimes you'll see them, um, you know, when you see them on the websites or if it's on a blog, usually that's a widget. But you can use an animation. So if you don't have a blog, you don't want to use a widget. You know, Facebook notes, you can't use widgets. Um, but with an image, it helps because you can use this image everywhere that allows an image, that you can upload an image. And it still has the visual effect that time's running out. So with this one, you can download it. And then I also made... I also made a holiday one to be used, and this is the holiday timer. And so this one you can use also for that urgency about the holiday, you know, like you can use it for Black Friday, you can use it for when the campaign ends and all the holiday items won't be available any longer. You can also use it when they have the shipping cut off, because um, I think you have to, customers are going to have to allow at least a week to get their orders in by Christmas. And I also have a note on that on the schedule, so I'll post that in Online Beauty Bosses also. But for this timer, it's also an animation. Oops. It's also an animation and it has the countdown to the holiday up until the 25th. So this can visually, like I said, just kind of help visually connect that urgency. So you guys can use these. Um, you can share them anywhere. And this is where you can share them. They're Giphy. So basically, it's just a GIF. It's an animation. You can share it on your social media. You can share it on Pinterest. You can share it on Facebook. You can add it to your Facebook notes. You can put it in Instagram. Um, you can add it to a blog post if you do have a blog. And another good thing about these animations that you can download is that you can also add it to your email. So if you're sending out that last call email to a customer, you can send it in the morning, and then you can send it in the afternoon with the clock showing that this offer is gonna be ending soon. And then of course, if you have your Google My Business, you can also put it into a Google My Business post. So that's what's good about the Giphy animations, is that it's not a widget. <clears throat> so you have, you have more opportunities to share it, and hopefully more people will see it and they'll take They'll take action on your offer. So this is how, <clears throat> so it's anywhere that you can share the Giphy image that, um, that you can be able to share this. So this is how you download these, these um, animations. If I, if, you if I post it just in our group and you see the animation, you won't be able to download it by right clicking because Something with Facebook doesn't allow you to download it. You won't see that download um, that download option. And if you see the share link, it'll show online beauty bosses 
but because our group's private, anyone who doesn't belong to our group won't see your animation. So you do have to download it to your drive. So in the group and also in the how-to, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and I'll, um, I'll share the link. So all you do is you click the link <clears throat> and it's going to take you to my, my Amazon photo drive. And there, you'll, this is the, the page that you'll see when you get to it, when you click that link. So then what you'll do is to see the second image, the holiday image, all you have to do is click that little arrow on the side to see the second. But to download both images, all you need to do is click the three little dots there. So if you click those three little dots, it's like a little drop down menu. If you click it, you'll see the option to download all the, the images. So there's two of them, so it'll download to your drive. Um, it, it might be a little different on your mobile phone, but just start clicking around to see, to see if you can find that download, download all button, and then you can download it. So like I said, it's my, it's my little holiday gift to you to hopefully, um, that you can share with your customers and hopefully, hopefully, um, prompt that urgency for customers to, to take action on, on these holiday sales and, and year round also. Another thing I wanted to mention, this one, the general year-round timer, you could use this animation actually when your last call to order, you know, at the end of a campaign, this could be, even if you use the same, the same animation or the same GIF, you could use it and your customers will get used to seeing it and know, oh, it's at the end of the campaign, I better get my order in. So it's kind of general. Um, also, if it's even if it's a special sale like how we had the the um, the twelve days of deals, you could still use it. Just kind of fit it in with what you say, like the text that you enter in. But this can be used year round, and I think it's a good it's a good one to use for your end of campaign. Okay, so that's it for today. I was actually going to make a quote of the day, and I wanted to make a quote about time. <laughs> but I but I ran out of time, so I wasn't able to even find the time quote. So, you know, that's how it goes. But um, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and, and have a great Black Friday um, Avon online with your Avon online sales and also your offline sales. I also wanted to mention that in our group, and I'll post that also, we have a holiday hub in the unit section. I'll have to bring that up. And it has tips. It has some of my um, downloads that I offered last year. It has the free flyer that you can download to and customize it. So you download it to your drive and customize it. You can hand it to your offline customers so that they can get, they can jump online and take advantage. So I have a flyer. And then I also have a checklist that I've shared a couple of times the past years if you're interested in doing that. And then also in the Holiday Hub unit section, there's also some tips shared from other representatives that have been going around in groups. So I've kind of collected them over the years. So there's tips on how to boost your holiday sales also. And that can be done offline and online, just depending on how creative you are. So I hope everyone has a great Thanksgiving, a great weekend, and I will see you over in the Online Beauty Bosses group. Thanks everyone for watching and um, if you have any questions, make sure to, um, to leave your question in the comments. All right, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.